When you hear Mitchell's name, what is the first image that comes to mind? His supreme beanie. His red supreme beanie. That's the only thing I can think of. I was going to say his smile. Um, he had the biggest smile, so that's just what comes to mind. Um, I would probably say him just like riding like in through our neighborhood, like on a skateboard. Well, the first thing that comes to my mind when I hear of Mitchell is like, I just, I'm so used to seeing him like skate around our neighborhood and he always just was such a thrill seeker and he was just such a happy person. Like I, I never had a, any experience with him where he wasn't happy, smiling. Happiness. It's regardless of like, um, when I was in class with him freshman year, regardless of what like we were doing, if we had a major test, if we had a big project due, he'd always come in with the biggest smile on his face. Like, like light up the room. He'd come in there, he'd be like, hola, senora. The first thing I think of is like his smile because he always smiled like so big, like straight up, like it was ear to ear. Him wearing his hat backwards with his really long hair and usually some form of boarding, like skateboarding, snowboarding. And that's, that's like the perfect image that comes to my mind. Like a little blonde teenage boy. Probably him smiling, you know, just like long flowing blonde hair. Just him always smiling and just like always having kind of an energetic vibe around him. And just, you know, it's like a warm feeling, I guess. I'd say joy. I'd usually just see happiness, like, a warm color, that's kind of how I associate him with. He's always just kind of around and always had a smile on his face, so. I think of his smile and I also think of his hair a lot because I thought he had really good hair and I remember it was very blonde. So. Oh yeah, I think of his man bun. Yeah. <laughs> his big smile. Yeah, his blonde long hair, his kind of small stature, but a big, big smile. Honestly, just him smiling. I think, you know, every time we were around practice or we were just have, at a game, like, didn't really matter what was going on. He was always happy. I think that's what I think of when I think of Mitchell. I kind of just think of this kid that's just always smiling and laughing and just never taking anything too seriously. He's kind of wild, but it's a good wild. I'd say just kind of like, kind of like the craziness that he had with him. Like whenever, like whenever I think of Mitchell, I always think of like, a lot of like the energy that he had, like whenever we hung out, he was always like really en like energetic, really like wanting to like go out and do stuff and just like, he definitely like matched like the crazy like energy of our friend group. Mitchell was just one of those guys that was always goofy, just always cracking jokes, having a good time. He could probably make anybody smile. And that's always how I remembered him. You know, obviously um, Mitch had a lot of great things about him. Uh, whether it be his personality. I thought personally he was a leader. Um, but, you know, when I think back to Mitch, I think, you know, his smile just lit up the room. A smiling face for sure. That's like, like that's something I know a lot of people have said that I feel like you always saw Mitch with a smile on his face. <laughs> just a smiling kid. He was always so happy, so positive. Honestly, I'd say the first thing that comes to mind is probably just his smile. I think that it was pretty memorable. He just, he had like a contagious laugh and I definitely have memories of laughing with him a lot. I definitely think of a smile. I can picture his face and, and just that sly little smile of his. Probably him smiling. Uh, like he just, he always had this energy around him that like just, you know, he just made everyone happy and he was just fun loving and, but definitely his smile. The best image I can imagine because we hung out so much. Um, he would come over to my house and one of my best memories of him is just seeing him every time pop out of his car and he'd come like dab me up, high five or whatever. And um, he was just always smiling, like always had a happy. Just him smiling, seeing him in his, his little Supreme hat. It's like one of my favorite things to think about of him. I guess he was always such like a really bright like person whenever I saw him I kind of just thought of something like happy in a way um, he, he was just always a pretty genuine person happy go lucky you know the, the first thing that I noticed about Mitch when he when he walked to the door was and I got to know Mitch it didn't take long to get to know Mitch is you know, what a positive attitude he has the first image that comes to my mind 
is an energetic, fun little guy. Ever since I met him, he was always, he's always, he's just fun is the best way to put it. He's always messing around. He was always doing something stupid, but not too stupid to get himself in trouble. Just like having a good time and really enjoying himself and making everyone else around him laugh. First thing that comes to mind is just a genuine person. Like, I really don't know anyone that dislikes Mitch. Like, this type of kid where you never see him without a smile on his face. His smile, that smile was so contagious. And it was just, anytime I heard his name, that's immediately what I think about and I still do. The smile, um, you know, even as a freshman, when I had him in video production class, um, you know, he was a little bit shy and a little bit shyer, but he was a little bit goofy, but he always had that smile. And then, you know, even as a senior four years later, when I had him in English class, um, you know, most days came in and had that big, bright, big smile. When I heard Mitchell's name, I think of a, when I knew him in video production, a nice kid, a little bit quiet, but played soccer, loved soccer. I think about uh, how happy he always seemed. Uh, he had a, a smile that, I don't know, whenever I'd see him around the locker room, for example, like the second he came in, it was just like, it was just like, I don't know, the, the room kind of brightened up a little bit. Probably just happiness. He was always like, he was always that kid to bring happiness no matter where he was, whether it was at soccer, at school. He's kind of just always making people happy. He was never negative about anything. The first image for me is I remember uh, tryouts. Obviously, the first time I saw him was tryouts when he was the freshman. I was a junior. I just remember this kid came in with a big smile on his face. I was like, <laughs> you could tell right away he was one of those kids. He plays with heart. And it's one thing I, uh, I kind of admired about his style of play because obviously he was one of the smaller guys on the team. And um, that was something that I was that was kind of the role I played for a while. Um, when I was coming up, so you know, you gotta respect the short kings out here. Little, <laughs> little Mitch uh, playing soccer. Uh, you know, he was like the smallest kid on the field. And I think I really related to him that way because when I was a freshman, uh, I was also like the smallest kid on the field. I've had I had Mitch as both a soccer player and as a student, so I've seen him from different angles. Um, one of the first things I always think about is when his, his freshman year, his summer before his freshman year, just how. He was tiny, he's this little tiny freshman coming up, uh, but he was so technical and he was very skilled and you could tell he just like loved the game. When I when I think Mitchell, I think like his style of play and I really think uh, like very individually skilled. I think uh, like he's he's always very close with the ball. He's always doing something like flicking up the ball in like a really fancy special way. <laughs> and I, I still can't figure out how he did it. Technical. Um smiling um we first saw probably first saw him when he was in just before his freshman year or going into his freshman year because in those days we didn't have the younger group in the camp and uh zeki and i both noticed that he was quite he, he was a uh, he had some some good technical qualities and he was smiling and quite a, an upbeat character the little blonde smiley kid um really bubbly uh, and i think thing that strikes me is because we only see the boys for four days a year so uh, we, it's difficult and, and some kids obviously take a little bit longer to come out of the shell but I think Mitch really early I think we picked up on the fact that okay he's got a bit about him he, you know he can handle a bit of stick he can, he can give it back and I probably think of just like the soccer team and at practices like him just just like smiling and really like improving the whole vibe of the practice just him smiling or laughing because that's like that's pretty much all it was on the soccer team was just mitch cracking jokes and everybody laughing just the goofy blonde kid just smiling full of energy um definitely in this room in the mat his smile and kind of his hair and his kind of almost like a surfer guy kind of attitude happy-go-lucky uh, a smile and his really long hair. Everybody used to give him a hard time and say you need to cut that stuff like, all the time. His hair, <laughs> his he, just his um, evolution of his hair because I had him when he was a freshman and just um, how he evolved over his high school career. Honestly, his hair. I like to, th uh, 
I would remember seeing pictures of his dreads, and, or not dreads, the, um, the braids he had in karate. I thought that was really cool. His blonde hair, that's honestly, that's the first thing that comes to mind when I think of Mitchell. I think of him like with his longer hair, and I don't think of him through wrestling. I think of seeing him in the lobby, sitting on the school couch, or in the back of one of my friend's cars. Just, I think of him in a happy environment. I don't think of him through sports or school or anything. Probably like a sun, like sunlight, you know. Yeah, yeah, I have to agree. That and just like him, he would always like walk through here with his like, what did he wear? He loved his Supreme his stuff. Su yeah, his Supreme stuff. And like, I think of the one time when he got his hair done in like corners since he was competing. Usually his outfits. <laughs> he always has some kind of uh he, he always he always had some kind of really good outfit to plan out for the day he came in so yeah when i hear mitchell i usually think of like <laughs> him coming in and drip <laughs> i think about him in his like black and blue rash guard up here like every saturday um uh, it was all he was always here every saturday and like three or four times throughout the week as well so i mean like in the mornings he was always one of like either he was either like either early to get here or like late like literally like quarter after like rolling in but like ready to go uh, he always came in with his like with his rash guard on red shorts and like you know even in the winter time he would still be in like shorts maybe a light jacket but his red beanie and he'd run in take it off be right on the mat and good to go and start going not really a picture of him but kind of just like random pictures or like photography that he always took because i always saw a lot of his like not artwork but pictures that he always took because i knew he was big into that an amazing photographer snowboarder person just like an ultimately like kind person well first i kind of think about photography and then the second thing is just how kind of crazy and wild he was he always had a lot of energy very happy i mean he always had a smile on his face whenever he came in here um i could be in horrible moods to come in here and if you start talking it was almost like i'm 46 years old he was 17 18 when he started coming in here it was obviously helped me kind of get out of a funk. So always easy to talk to, um, just made me happy. He always had a smile on his face, that made me smile too. To be completely honest, I think about that blonde hair and that just, oh, he was always smiling. So when I hear Mitchell Brown, you know, that bleach blonde hair and uh, he always just had a smile on his face. I just say him with a smile. It's like the first thing I think of, just telling a joke or laughing at something someone did that was stupid or funny. Um, he was always smiling. I guess his smile is humility. He's very down to earth. He's very compassionate. That would probably be the first image that came to mind that he was, there was no hate for him at all. Like no one hated him. He was like such a friendly dude. Uh, when I hear Mitchell's name, I just think about like how funny he was and how many people genuinely liked typing him around. Like honestly. Um, he was just kind of like a really good presence, it seemed, in most people's lives. Super friendly. When I, um, throughout high school, Mitchell and I were good friends and we always had like a lot of classes together. And he was just always the person that you could go to for anything. Like, even if you haven't talked in like a few days or something, he'd always like be there to like hang out and have fun. And he was just always like that fun spirit. I think of a very kind, energetic, guy he was always super nice to everybody he'd always go out of his way to be helpful and he was just a very he was very funny too i always think of how funny he was my senior year we had a, a weight training class together and he was always like smiling always laughing always like talking to somebody like very social guy very approachable i see him as like kind of like son i guess you could say because he's so bright his energy is so contagious and he was always just super kind to literally like everyone that he met loyal spontaneous he was always very outgoing never a bad time with him it's just he was just a great person, you know? Like, I just think of him as being, he's like the quiet but funny, like, class clown. Like, he was the one that was always making everyone laugh, but, like, in a quiet way. Like, he was just really, and such kind person. His smile and laugh was contagious. Probably Mitch, like, smiling or laughing is probably the, probably the best image I could imagine of him. The first image that comes to mind when I think about 
Mitchell is his smile and his always positive attitude, but without question. Literally a word he probably wouldn't like, but I did say it to him, a really pretty boy. That blonde hair, that million dollar smile. Definitely his great hair. Uh, the guy had great hair and uh, certainly a very short uh, thought thereafter is probably the world's greatest smile. Um, it's hard to think of Mitchell without thinking of a crowd of friends around him at all times. And and certainly while his smile was there, there's also the friends uh, that were always around him at Susky uh, smiling as well. Um, great hair, great smile, and uh, heck of a crowd that always loved that guy. <laughs>